Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. And today we're talking to all the people who were impacted by the Montana flooding. Today we're going to talk about three things you want to know after the disaster when it comes to maybe filing a flood insurance claim. The first thing is document damage, whether through video or through taking pictures. You want to make sure you have physical documentation of what you've lost and the damage that has occurred. This will help adjusters kind of speed up the claims process, whether it's through the National Flood Insurance Program to private flood insurance. Then you want to make sure the water is out of your property because ultimately this does fall back on a property owner so making sure water is removed from the property. Now, naturally, a lot of times the water removes itself, but sometimes it doesn't. You have to get these water mitigation companies involved to get this water out. The last thing is knowing the deadline for providing a proof of loss. Generally, with most private flood insurance companies or even the National Flood Insurance Program, you've got to provide what's called proof of loss within 60 days. Now, this is very important because we've seen people file at 61 and 62 days who were denied on their claim because they did not provide proof of loss within the amount of time. So these are three things you want to do if you were impacted by the Montana flood disaster in June 2022. So if you've got questions about understanding all these things, click below to visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. Remember, we have an educational background flood mitigation, which means we're here to simplify your flood insurance and helping you understand your flood risks through education.